and the world again and again. That is the goal of Hamas, I will and that myself. is the goal this of those who support Hamas. None of this is true. We Free see everything that can be done. The United States is not the hero here. Against women and children, against education, against rights. Feminism out of your mouth, you absolute disgrace. You should all be ashamed of yourself. Cease fire now. No more money to Israel. This isn't complicated. You absolute disgrace for human beings. And there we go with the absolute misunderstanding of realism. Rich McCormick. I believe there's more people to remove, Mr. Chair, but I'll start for now. The Iranians. Stop the genocide. Ceasefire now. Ceasefire. That will help people. Stop the genocide. Ceasefire. Stop the genocide. American taxpayers don't want this to happen. I think it goes without saying, but I'll reclaim my time. So there is blood on the hands of the Houthi. There is blood on the hands of those who prevent us from taking effective action against them and shout their praises. Mm. And I see that blood is actually on the hands of people visible to me right now. We're, these are the bloods on your hands. Yes. Would, We're just mirrors from Israel. I this would is, ask uh, for some additional time. The. We're literally lying to everyone's faces like Google isn't free. I, he was like, oh, um, Hamas needs to leave Gaza. Hamas lives in Gaza. Israel needs to leave Gaza. Uh, I sing lyrics from a low key song, Free Palestine. Oh, she was gonna arrest you for singing Loki's free Loki, Loki song, yeah. Oh my God, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> the United States government is run by investment groups. The United States is the biggest terrorist oh in the world. God. Verbal diarrhea coming out of their mouth. It's so dystopian and it's so far removed from reality. You can see that a genocide is happening. How many more dead kids with missing limbs, their shredded bodies do we need to see? And all these people care about is increased inflation and uh, shipping times and shipping costs. Like the Houthis are saying that they are attacking these ships because there is a genocide happening. Once the genocide stops, once we get a ceasefire, they'll stop doing this. So like, it's a simple solution. We want the genocide to stop. We need a ceasefire. I just walked out saying, they can solve this thing, ceasefire, and the Houthis will stop this. I mean, that's what they've said that it, they would, as long as the U.S. and all the world keeps supporting Israel and the killing of Palestinians, and Houthis are the only ones that are standing up to the Israelis, the only ones. Uh, Hezbollah is in the north of Israel, but nobody else, nobody else is doing jack shit. Doing it's, uh, the Houthis are the ones that are helping to bring the world's attention and of course the capitalist world turns it around and saying oh they're stopping shipping well hell yeah let's stop some shipping i mean there have been 32,000 people killed in gaza in three months for god's sakes yeah. if you can't stop a genocide then what good are we as human beings you sat through the whole hearing yes <laughs> how do you feel i would say that i'm shocked and i I am a little bit because seeing it in person is, is different than just reading about it. Um, it was absolute, what was that, an hour and a half, um, absolute disregard for Palestinian lives. No mention of uh, Gaza, really, or the fact that a ceasefire would solve all of the issues they talked about in there. There was lots of talk about um, the Houthi threat and all the Iran-backed proxies, um, when in reality, all of these groups have said, stop pummeling Gaza and, and committing a genocide and we will stop any efforts against you. And even in the one week where we had a temporary pause last year, all attacks stopped. Um, so I don't know why they, what they spent 90 minutes for, because uh, the answer is right in front of them. But they, that's obviously not what they want. Um, so a farce, really. Um, Ceasefire now. Ceasefire.